Hi, this is Tiny Fisher. I'm the one that runs for our Saturday round robin tournament. You are welcome to check in at 1.15 p.m. and our play starts at 1.30 p.m. Every of our members are very welcome to this tournament to improve your skill and to enjoy the play. Now, as you might see on paper one, now our CEO, Ray, is playing with Nick. There are top players. And the paper two is also in our group A. That is Bill and David. Paper three is also in our group A, James and Peter. Okay, now paper four is uh, Jerry and Joe. Joe is our new member, yet he is a good player. Number five will be continued with pretty soon, and also number six will be continued by our group C. Uh, I think that's it for Saturday round robin tournament. You are very welcome. That's what I said. You, all members are very welcome to enjoy and to join to enroll on this tournament. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, you just saw some great video of the uh, wonderful table tennis facility that is right here in this building on the third floor. And uh, we have from the table tennis club, we have uh, Andre Torn. Yes. Did I pronounce that right? Yes. All yes, right. G. And uh, Janine Bolchese. Perfect. All right. If it's not perfect, let me know <laughs> that I'm horrible at pronouncing names. Great to have you here today. And I have to say that uh, because we're quite literally next door, to the uh, table tennis room, uh, that's a great facility and you have such active members that are just unbelievably good at playing table tennis. So it's great to have you here today. First, tell me about uh, the club and uh, Janine, uh, I know it's been around pretty much since this village began, right? It certainly has. Uh, pretty much I'll just give you a snapshot of the past and then go on to the present. Okay. Right? So it actually started in 1966. There were 10 members. They elected their very, very first president, who was uh, Harvey Erickson. Ah. The room, the table tennis room, was located in uh, Clubhouse 2. They had one room, one table. Yeah. Uh, carpeted and few paddles, and that was the extent of it. So that's a, just a brief history of our table tennis room. So let's fast forward to 2015, and this is where the good fun start actually begins. Yeah. We have a marvelous, marvelous room. Um, it has uh, nine tables, two robot uh, machines mm -hmm. that you can practice on. Um, the club provides for the balls and the paddles. Uh, all you have to do is present yourself with comfortable clothes and uh, tennis shoes and be ready to start to play. That's great. How much is the club? How much the are club, the dues? wonderful, wonderful. In the very beginning, I don't think uh, any dues were charged. But in this day and age, we yeah. charge five dollars five dollars here you a go. year here you go ken let me find my five dollars <laughs> that my husband gave me five dollars a and year and we, we wow. want you to be an honorary member oh, well, of our table tennis much. club and you will be 422 all member. right very all right good. how's that i'll give that back to you for my due set <laughs> terrific, terrific. Uh, i haven't played that in a long time but um i, I watch you folks you brought in some equipment here and i know you provide the paddles, paddles and all, but I would think, uh, Andre, that people who are really good, they have their own kind of paddles they like, and you brought in a couple, right? Yes, uh, uh, basically a uh, uh, table tennis paddle like it looks like this, and I have two of them here. One of them is a little bit heavier, which if you are really heavy hitter, you use this kind of okay. heavy paddle. They look all the same. This one is a little bit lighter. I bought it, and my, but my wife stole it from me, so it's not my wife's <laughs> paddle. 
Okay. So tell me about the paddles. I've always wondered this. Yes. Uh, are the two sides different material for different bouts, or is it just the color? You can. You okay. can. There are various materials. Some of them pimps, uh, pips, some of them uh, flat surface, smooth surface. And uh, they use for different kind of spins and uh, okay. can throw your uh, opponents off if you're not familiar with that. Okay. So it's really uh, good practice. We have all kinds of players there and they uh, play different kind of style. And so it's real good. We have you know, 400 players and that's really uh, all wow. kinds of different 400 players. 400 players. That's and amazing. we're located at our administration building in the third floor. So when you walk out the elevator, just go straight on the left yeah. side next to the fitness center. That's where we are. The fun thing about uh, uh, playing table tennis is uh, people kind of trash talk each other, you know, yeah. I cannot beat you, <laughs> but I'm going to beat you in so my you have, you have a lot of That's fun. fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And we, when we sit down, we just enjoy life together, you know, social, it's really great social activity. It seems to be. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It and really also does. it's uh, not really that strenuous, so you don't have to play that hard. We have 90 years old playing and 92 years old uh, uh, playing, and we just had uh, 100 year old people play. So, of course, when you play the 100 year old, so you don't make him run too much. Yeah. <laughs> too much. But it's a lot of fun, you know. What is this that you brought? And this is uh, the uh, uh, ball picker. So, if the ball is on the floor, you don't have to. Uh, oh, homemade. Yeah, yeah you, just, you just pick it up from there. You know, Was that like over. rubber bands at the bottom? Or uh, it's, it's just elastic. Oh, yeah, band. I see elastic. Yeah. So, it's. Uh, you know, a, well, at this age, idea. we don't run and run and really get a heart attack bending over too much. So this is really convenient for us. <laughs> you know, sometimes, uh, as I said, they're right next to us here. Every once in a while, somehow yeah. when you have that door open at the end right. of the hallway, you'll see balls coming down the hallway. Right, 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 right. right. Balls are flying all over the places. So okay. how did you both get into it? How did you get into table tennis? And, I, you know, the obvious question people always say is the same as ping pong. Is ping pong just another... I know sometimes they don't like to hear the word ping pong. Right, right. The word is, uh, the term is actually used interchangeably. Okay. I think ping pong for the game and uh, the sport is table tennis. Okay. But how I got involved, I relocated here uh, 16 months ago from the Midwest. And I was oh, looking really? for, I'm fully retired, so I said, how on earth can I age gracefully? So I went to the physical fitness room. Uh, as soon as I finished with the segment there, I saw this table tennis room. I walked in. All of a sudden, I said, oh, I see these people jumping up and down, laughing and screaming and having tons of fun. Yeah. And I said, hey, I want to be a part of this. So uh, what I really like about the entire time frame, I spent about two or three hours a day playing. I come and say, hey, 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 hi, everybody. <laughs> well, Andre, it's, it's unbelievable exercise. I, I know a lot of people, I'm myself included, to exercise for the sake of exercising, I've never liked. I want to be doing something. And this, obviously, is all kinds. You're running around. It's not like you're running laps, of course, but you're moving constantly. Right, right. Exactly. And uh, you're, you're bending over, you're standing up, you're doing all kinds of things. So, uh, yeah, you're working out all the kinks. And <laughs> up and down and hit how, how long have you been playing? Okay, uh, I started when I was seeing uh, seventh grader. And, wow. Uh, and the uh, art and craft uh, class, the uh, teachers just hand us a, a piece of plywood and say, okay, you cut a ping pong table bat from me. <laughs> so, you know, it's going to you know, cut it all the way. And then with that, somebody brought in the, uh, the ball, and then we started hitting that on the table and practicing. Yeah. That's how I got started. Okay. And uh, uh, afterwards, I started learning how to play it. I've been playing all along. But uh, once I moved here, I looked and I said, oh, this is the kind of exercise I really need. And, and especially when you, when you play ping pong, you know, you're really doing all kinds of moves. And it's yeah. really hand-eye coordination. It's really yeah. fast. Yeah, it so is. So you don't think about it. You just re react to the ball. Okay. And that helps out the brain, stimulates the brain. Like my mom is now a little bit, uh, have a little bit of uh, Alzheimer. Mm -hmm. So I sort of bring her in and uh, doing that kind of exercise. I'm observing her, making sure that she's really hitting the ball. She can respond to the ball. And that means her brain is still active. Yeah. Okay. And it's still, everything connected. That's what I really like it. And my kids, you know, get them to start to play ping pong when they were young and, you know, uh, so stimulate their muscle growth and all kinds of body. And playing ping pong, really, you don't need a, it's really very strenuous exercise. You play 11 points. Yeah. Okay. And then you just hit the ball back and forth. 
And if you're tired, you just say, okay, I'm tired of somebody else, you know, come over and uh, take my place. Yeah, and that's, you know? I think, what's so nice about it Absolutely. is that uh, it can be, if, you, if you're really good and you're really into it, it can be yeah. real strenuous and, and really exactly. going at it. Exactly. But uh, you can play on a different level and just have a more relaxing game. And as, as you said, it, uh, the eye-hand coordination right. is just tremendous, and you get to the point where at least you start to be good. You're, you're just you're not even I'm you're not, not even thinking about, about it. Yeah, exactly. So how yeah. do you hold it? You were showing yeah. me. I'm holding it this way. There are two kinds of holding. One is like holding a pen, so you hold it like. Yeah, this. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. Pen, holding. Uh, pen holding, and uh, uh, when you you can hit on this side or you can hit on this side. Mm -hmm. Okay, or the uh, handshake. You know, right like handshake. You can. Like this, and, and that's like just that. a preference. Uh, there's a difference between these two. When you play the uh, handshake, it's it's a little bit weak on the side because okay. you know, switching it is a little bit slow. Right. But when it was pen holding, the weakness is on the far side because you cannot reach that far. Ah, that's right. Okay, so that's the difference. And and people, you know, when once you get better, it makes no difference. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Which way do you? Do you do uh, the handshake. The handshake. Definitely okay. the handshake with the forehand here. And what I do is, uh, they say that I am vicious because I just started <laughs> to play. But let me tell you the skill that you need. You keep continue improving and improving. So what I try to do is just size up the opponent, use a different type of strategy, slam it where I think the opponent's not going to be there, mm -hmm. and also slam. Um, Actually, spin the ball. Yeah, it's amazing. You don't want to play her. It's amazing, vicious, vicious. <laughs> She's good. But very good natured. Yeah. everyone is so good natured. Whether you win or lose, and of course, it is competitive too. Yeah, very much so. Well, it's it's just a wonderful sport. And oh, as I, I said, uh, whenever I see you folks, uh, you're always having a good right. time in there, and it's as much social as it is an activity, right? Absolutely. Right, right, right. Absolutely. It's. Uh, a lot of social activities, when you're not playing, you're sitting with other people, then you're going to start trash talk each other. And then you <laughs> talk about the weather, you talk about life, and you know, well, you know just a, a great social activity. Yeah. You totally yeah. relax, you play ping pong, yeah. your muscles really good, again, good, good exercise. So it's, it's really great. We'll have to come over there and try it. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you really get well, your first I don't know if, I'm, I'm, right I don't know if I want to play Janine, though, the way she's. I'll be easy on you. Okay. Seriously, seriously. All right. <laughs> Uh, uh, what are the hours over there, by the way? Mm, wonderful. The hours of, from the weekday, yeah. Monday to Thursday, it's, the doors open at 6 o'clock in the morning, close at 9 at night. Oh, wow. On Friday, it's, uh, the room is open till 10 o'clock at wow. night, even over the weekends, 6 in the morning till 6 at night. And then there are specific programs that address, let's say, beginner beginner mm -hmm. players and also intermediate and the more advanced players. Okay. So and then you have, have like a, a kind of a tournament every Saturday, sort of a round robin yes, type thing? Yes, it's round okay. robin at 1.30. Okay. okay. Fantastic. We, we have volunteers that actually coordinate all these different programs. Fantastic. It's just a marvelous. It, you know, I have to tell you, if you're just love. mildly interested, come on up here one day and uh, walk through uh, there, talk absolutely. to folks, and you can see how friendly they are. and. Pick up. Is it called a racket or is it called a bat? Paddle. Did you, a paddle. Okay. Paddle. This is the, the this is the rubber. This is the right. blade. The whole thing is called a paddle. Okay. All right. <laughs> I should have known. Good terminology. <laughs> All right. But come up and give it a try. Thank you, folks, for coming on. Our okay. It's, it's our pleasure. It's been great. It's been great fun, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay.